Hi, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Now we're going to look at the AC joint. It has to have the ability to guide anterior and posterior and a little bit of rotation. But the hardest thing sometimes is to find it. So what we do is we're going to go, we're going to find the acromion, we're going to find the clavicle, and we're going to keep going until our fingers feels a little bit of a V in the front. And we do the same thing in the back. We find, as we go across, the spine and the scapula, and we find the V in the back. And if I take my two fingers together, that's the angle of the joint. So from this side, I'm going to grab the acromion. This side, I'm going to grab the clavicle. What I could do, I have choices. I could either move the clavicle or I could move the acromion. I like to hold the clavicle above the acromion, but it's more, my, more choice wise. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, I'm going to do a posterior glide. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take up the slack, and you can see, and then I'm going to do my spring at the end to see if that has a little bit of a spring to it. To do my P to A, I'll do the same thing. I'll hold it, take up the slack in the acromion, hold the clavicle, and then at the end, I'm going to do a little bit of a spring. So with this hand I'm holding, again, I could go either way, but then, I'm, I, and then as I hold, I can also get my finger on the joint so I could feel that anterior and posterior glide. All right, so it's the AC joint, anterior posterior glide. Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.